Hey what's up guys this is going to be another Firebase tutorial in this video I'm going to show you how to use a database in Firebase so I'm going to be carrying on from my authentication video where I showed you how to create a user and how to log in with your app now I'm going to show you how logging in gives you access to the database and how you can add items to the database so I'll do a little demo log in with an email that I uh, registered and if you want to see how you authenticate check out my last video that I made so we'll sign in close the keyboard go to another screen where you're adding things to the database and so here is what my database looks like I have uh, a key a category foods uh, another subcategory favorite foods and then I have uh, like bananas and set to true and ice cream set to true so this is what you generally want your database structure to look like when it comes down to it, you're you're gonna have to have some kind of a some kind of a flag. You can't just have bananas and then have a null value here. You have to have like bananas true, or you could put like a like a one here and then put bananas in this position. <coughs> okay, so we're gonna try adding something. We're gonna add donuts. And you can see it got added in real time. So since I'm gonna be carrying on from my last video, I'm gonna go to my other project and I'm just gonna copy everything over. So I created a new project, I called it Firebase Add to Database. Now I'm just gonna create that on the Firebase website, put it into my app, and copy all the activities from my previous authentication video. So I'm gonna fast forward through that. Hopefully you know how to do that. If you don't, just watch the very first Firebase video that I made called What is Firebase? And it'll show you how to get Firebase into your app. Okay, now that everything's added from the authentication video, we can start adding the database dependencies. So first thing we'll do is go to Tools and Firebase and real-time database and we're going to add the real-time database to the app now that the database dependencies are added to the app we can go to our Firebase console and we can see that the database section has information in it so let's uh, do the database structure really quick here so the first thing here for name is going to be the user so we can grab this unique user ID here go to copy ID go back to the database and put this in here so now this user is going to be the only one who has access to this data so we'll go favorite foods and then we'll add one for an example so we'll say bananas and put true and add so there we go there's our there's an outline of our database structure if you want to learn more about the database structure I'll, I'll give you a link to take a look at it's a JSON database structure so it's a little different than SQL I think this is it here so I'll put this link in the description, but I would definitely recommend just reading through this. It just gives an overview of what you want, like the best practices for data structure and kind of like what you shouldn't do, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. So definitely recommend reading that. All right, we'll go back to our app now and we're going to start writing code. So we'll close the assistant and first things first, we need to add a button to, so that we can navigate to the other screen and add items to the database. So just a simple button. I just labeled it uh, add items to database and we'll close that then we'll add the button here then we declare a button in the uncreate and then I'm going to scroll down and go button add database set on click listener and we're just going to use an intent to navigate to the other screen okay now we'll create our class add to database so go to Java and create a new class insert our override method on create. If you didn't see what I did to pop up that menu, it's just alt insert, go down to override methods, type on create, and it's uh, where is it? Oh, I already have it, so it doesn't show up in there, but that's all you do. Then you want to set your content to view. Alright, so let's create this layout. And I've already made this layout ahead of time, so I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. Easy enough, just an edit text field and a button. Alright, first things first, let's write our log, write our tag, sorry. Then declare our buttons in our edit text field. Oh, I noticed my main activity is still red. Uh, oh, I think this, because we're in a button, that's why. Okay, so make sure you add main activity dot this. And we can close that. 
All right, so let's declare a button in our edit text field here. Now we're going to add everything we need to use the Firebase database. So we need a Firebase database object, a Firebase authentication object, a Firebase authentication listener object, and Firebase or sorry, a database reference object. Then declare all of our objects in on create. So we have our authentication object, our database object, and our reference object. And now I'm going to create the authentication listener just like we had in main activity. So I'll just go back to main activity and I'll just copy it. Grab the auth listener, close the activity, and paste that in there. And I'm going to create, oh, I'll also grab that toast method that I have in main activity. Go down here, grab that. Uh, I'm actually going to need the on start and on stop too, so we'll grab all that stuff. A lot of copy and paste in here and just throw that in. Cool. Now we're going to go below the authentication listener and we're going to add an on value event listener to my reference. And if you want, I think in database, in the database stuff here, it's going to show you to add that. Yeah, so, so if we want to read from our database, we need to add this add value event listener. So we can just copy this and paste it down here. So you can see that Firebase stuff is like, it's super easy to use. The, this, this little assistant tool is really awesome. You literally just follow this and you can pretty much build, build anything that Firebase offers. Attach an onclick listener to our add to database button. All right, there's our onclick listener. Now we'll log it and we're gonna get the new food from the edit text field. So I'm just gonna call it new food. Now I'll do just a little bit of exception handling. I just want to make sure that the edit text field isn't null before we try and add it to the database. So I can just use a simple if statement here. If new food does not equal nothing, empty, then we can proceed. All right, now we need, we need to get this key because we can't add anything to this user's part of the database unless I have this key. So how we get that programmatically is we create something called a Firebase user. Use the authentication of get current user. And this is only going to be ac accessible if you sign in, obviously. Therefore, you're not going to be able to ever add anything to the database unless you're signed in and you can get access to that particular user key. So then we can go user ID equals user and we call a method called get ID so get UID and that's going to give us that key that big long key that's uh, right here now that we have the key we can use the database reference to add a child or add a new value so we pass the user ID because that's the first the first uh, part of the tree and then we have another child that's going to be food I think it's, it's food or foods let's see here food and then add another child that's going to be favorite I think it's favorite favorite foods and then we add let's see so we have food favorite foods and then we have our value now you go do another do another child and this is going to be the new food and then you go set value true. Then I'm just going to add a toast to print out the new food that was added to the database. And we want to reset the text of the edit text so that it's ready to add the next new food. Okay, that's it for this on click listener. I think we're pretty much done. Uh, I know we got to add the new activity to the manifest still. Don't forget to do that since you added a second activity. You need to add a new activity to the manifest. And I think that's it. Let's run it and see if we got any errors. Oh, before you run it, if um, you didn't know, if your app doesn't run, make sure you change it to app mode. And then we can run. So now we'll try add to the database. Oh, it crashed. This, oh yeah, I remember this. I had, I had this problem in my, uh, my previous version. For some, I don't know. I don't know what this is, but I know how to f I know how to fix it. I just changed this to an object data snapshot dot get value. So I don't know what that string dot class references, but I know that if I just change it to an object, it will work. So 
I guess just do the same. All right, sign in. And let's go to add to database. Now I'll pull up the database and let's try adding a new food. I don't know. Let's add pizza. As you can see, pizza adds in real time. That's it for this video. Kind of just a brief overview of how to use Firebase databases and how to make sure that your users are authenticated before you can add anything to the database. I'm not sure what my next Firebase video will be, but I'm going to do more. I plan on going through everything in the Firebase API. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to let me know and leave a like below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.